Okay, May 18th. In uh, 1917, President Woodrow Wilson goes to Congress and urges them to pass the Selective Service Act. Um, so they passed the Selective Service Act, which required all men between the ages of 18 and 25 to register for the draft. And um, essentially, the month before, we had entered World War I in 1970 of April. And Wilson called for volunteers, and only 97 people um, signed up, enlisted in the military. So um, at the height of World War One, 4.3 million men would, would serve in, in, in the military. So uh, in 19, once the war was over, 1918, then the draft was canceled and put on the shelf. This was the first time we'd instituted a draft since the Civil War. Um, and we wouldn't do it again until Vietnam. So in, in February, of eight, uh, so fast forwarding, in February of 2019, over 100 years later, um, a court ruled that the male-only Selective Service Act was unconstitutional because it did not include women. And so basically the courts were saying if men have to sign up for the Selective Service, which they still have to do today, if they have to sign up for the Selective Service, then so do women. Um, nothing's happened since then. They ruled it unconstitutional. The, the liaison between the Selective Service and the Congress has basically said we're not doing anything. We're not changing any of our policies until Congress tells us what to do. Right, because Congress has to make the laws, so it's up to Congress to go back and, and update the Selective Service Act to include women. Um, so that's still in process. But uh, that's what I have for today. In 1917, Woodrow Wilson, uh, uh, Congress passed the Selective Service Act, which allows Woodrow Wilson to draft um, men to serve in World War One. So I will see you tomorrow.